not only is the Earth orbiting, sorry, the Earth rotating on its axis in an easterly direction, it is also orbiting the Sun. And this gives us not just a 17,000 kilometres per hour boost to anything we place into space, but it also gives us a rotation, an orbiting boost as well, which gives us approximately a 33,000 kilometre per hour uh, boost to get a satellite or a probe from the surface of the Earth to another planet. So the shape of the um, that we would take from planet one to planet two would be this one here. So we use the rotation of the Earth and also its orbiting velocity to add together to go from planet to planet or to explore our solar system. The speed is greatest at the equator, where the surface is travelling at 1600 kilometres per hour. So it is a great advantage to launch from the equator, as it has a greater surface speed. This is why the European Space Agency launched their satellites from near the equator in Guiana. This gives them a 200 kilometre per hour advantage over the NASA launch site in Florida. So, rockets leaving from Guiana need to carry less fuel. So, after watching that, we have to assess which site would be the best. And here we've got uh, French Guiana at Y. Um, a position in Australia's centre at Wara, a W, and also a place in central, sorry, northern Europe there at X. The Americans launch their rocketry from the place at the bottom part of Florida here. This is the most southerly continental part of the, sorry, the most southerly part of the continent of the United States, and it's approximately 30 degrees north of the equator whereas this one here is 5 degrees north and Woomera is also approximately 30 degrees south of the equator. This one here, X, is somewhere, in the, um, just out of arbitrariness, around about 70 degrees north of the equator. So, accessing which site would be best, we can automatically come to the conclusion then that we should be going with Guiana. So let's have a look at some responses to this question that have been got given in the past. So having a look at the first respondent, response one, we've chosen French Guiana. Why? Because it is closest to the equator. That gives the correct answer, but it doesn't give any reasoning behind it. We are actually asked to assess which would be the better site. So having a look at response two, the further you are from the equator, the slower you are travelling. So that means Y is the best site. This gives more information as to why we would select Y, because it has the understanding that the equator um, is the fastest part. So it has something to do with the addition of velocities. So we're getting on track, but this um, we wouldn't mark that as a high response. So if we're all giving this a mark out of four, maybe it's a one or a two. Looking at respondent number three, response three here says, the spacecraft are launched in an easterly direction to take advantage of the Earth's rotation, which is great because it's firstly explaining that it's an easterly direction, more information than any of the others have already given, and says why we do that, it's to do with taking advantage. It's not mentioning the fact that you know, we have the addition of um, of uh, velocities here. Um, but it does say that it lowers the cost of putting a craft into space. 
But it doesn't say why it lowers the, the, the cost of putting a craft into space. The fact that you need this energy to get into space has been forgotten about. So this is quite a good response, but it's still not um, getting to the highest level. And now we have a look at a complete response. It's slightly more than is needed. So response number four says, uh, the spacecraft is, um, is launched in an easterly direction to take advantage of the Earth's rotation. So it's starting in the same way as the last. It explain, explains why that the surface of the Earth is travelling fastest in an easterly direction at the equator. So it understands that we need to be as close as possible to the equator. Now it's going to explain, when a craft is launched, we use the speed of rotation to assist the craft to get into orbit. So there is the idea of this, the addition of velocities. And the closer the launch position is to the equator, the less fuel, the less energy is needed. So it gives, gives finally a reason. And that ultimately is to do with cost. And it's cost, all of these craft going into space require a huge amount of, of fuel, a huge amount of cost. As a result, Y um, is the best position, so it's then um, assessed it. However, this person has also gone on um, to choose to say other factors, and this sets this example really above the, um, the, the pack here. So other factors can influence, like weather, which is great, ease of access. Guiana is on the, um, on the coast and it's very accessible from the point of Europe because it uses the European Space Station, um, sorry, the European Space Agency launches from there. And it's also uh, politically stable. And that's very important if you want to get access to the site. Um, the position X would also make it, um, would be both, sorry, the position of X would make it both inaccessible and a place of slow rotation. Um, that's the part, that's the point in Northern Europe. With all considerations, um, they can also have W as a viable option as well, but Y is definitely the best preferred option here. So this is a great response, a little bit more than is needed to answer the question, but a great response nevertheless.